Hello everyone. My name is Karen Slikonich and I am the chair of the board of directors of the Fort Saskatchewan Families First Society. The board of directors for Families First is very aware of the importance of relationships and connections in the work that we do. Relationships and connections between family members, the community and the Families First team play a critical role in achieving our goal of environments that's, that nurture strong, healthy future generations and improve the lives of families and individuals. A strong staff team is built on positive relationships and effective connections amongst the members. Our collaborative and caring staff team has the foundation to enter into responsive relationships with those they engage with every day. The connections between the team members and people who access supports, services and programs through Families First help to ensure positive outcomes. Our team members have reciprocal relationships and connections with numerous community partners in Fort Saskatchewan, the Sturgeon region and the broader social service sector, which further supports our work. The board's role is to foster relationships and connections amongst ourselves, the executive director, other staff, the community, and with supporters, funders, and donors in order to support Families First as an organization that provides so much to the children, youth, and families, and individuals we serve. In this annual report, you will hear more about the relationships and connections important to our staff and others in achieving the vision and mission of the Fort Saskatchewan Families First Society. Hi, my name is Jack Degno. I'm the Executive Director at Fort Saskatchewan Families First Society. Thank you for choosing to watch our video with us today. At Families First, we believe wholeheartedly in the healing power of relationships. We are built to be connected and in relationship. We know that walking alongside, listening without judgment, and responding with empathy and a very real desire to understand can support folks to feel truly heard, cared for, and safe. We are so grateful at Families First to be part of a caring and compassionate village. A couple of our most impactful relationships this past year have been with BGC Fort Saskatchewan and Creating Hope Society, both of whom are part of our Fort Saskatchewan and Sturgeon Region Family Resource Network. We've been part of this network for the past four years, but it's in this last year that we really had an opportunity to support one another and deepen our relationships. Creating Hope Society has supported the community and our team with Indigenous culture teachings that have impacted our practice significantly. The team now feels comfortable to share smudge with participants and offer connection back to Tanya, the cultural support worker from Creating Hope. I can't tell you how many times folks have come in and we've offered smudge and they've broken down in tears because they have felt disconnected from the practice, they haven't smudged in a long time, or just that opportunity to start their day or to start a really stressful discussion in Smudge has been so meaningful and powerful to them. BGC has also invited some of our team to attend training with them, which has given us some shared language and practices that create consistency and shared trust when serving community members. Each of us has our own strengths as an organization, and it's so wonderful that we can celebrate in those differences and lean on each other to do the good work that each of us does. Thank you so much to Creating Hope Society and BGC Fort Saskatchewan for being our partners in the Family Resource Network. We couldn't have asked for better partners. Thank you. Hi, I'm Lauren, one of the community connectors here at Families First. Over the last year, I moved into the connector position to work alongside Jacqueline. Over that time, we developed a strong relationship. Watching how Jacqueline interacts with participants helped me shift my work and allowed me to develop new skills in making fast connections with families. We work together closely and that has greatly strengthened the impact we are able to make on the community. Hi, I'm Jacqueline. I'm a community connector here at Families First as well. Lauren and I have created an atmosphere that is collaborative, open and cohesive. This has proven to be effective for families as they have support regardless of which one of us reaches out. Our work can be hard sometimes and the relationships that we have developed allows us to have hard conversations that still have a positive outcome. Hi, I'm Jody, And I'm Lisa. We are the Family Violence Prevention Program. Today we wanted to share a little bit about the partnerships that we deeply appreciate. Uh, we have our obvious partners who really kind of help the program continue and thrive, and that's our RCMP and Victim Services. 
Uh, but this year we were really excited about nurturing and evolving a partnership with our cultural communities. Uh, the Kebisig Society, Creating Hope Society, the Fort Black Society, and Hufs, which is hosting Ukrainians in Fort Saskatchewan. Together, we've been planning and organizing events that not only hold space for storytelling and sharing in tradition that celebrate women and diversity, but also shines a light on some of the issues that contribute to ongoing oppression of women and girls from around the globe. Another partnership we'd love to celebrate is with Jesse's House, the Family Violence Shelter in Morinville. In discussion with their outreach and follow-up programs, there was a need for support for those leaving the shelter. And with the Provincial Backbone for Rural Training, Say Jess, they came out and did some training with us um, in partnership with Jesse's House. And we were able to facilitate some of those groups um, as a drop-in option for people once they left. And that was great capacity building for them as well as for ourselves. A win-win. Win -win. Hello everyone, my name is Tannis Graham and I am the Steadfast Connector here at Families First. Reflecting on the last year in my job position, I feel that I have strengthened um, and deepened relationships um, throughout the community. Um, I want to draw attention to if someone does come in to see me for support, um, I always ask, how did you find, how did you know to come to me? or to come to Families First, um, and they've always said, oh, a friend of mine referred me, or a neighbor referred me. Um, some people that come in to see me will say they didn't realize that supports were so close to them here in the fort. Um, so, you know, the saying, it takes a village, it's not only to raise children, it's also to empower our community and um, advocate and support uh, for the best outcomes. Thank you. Hi, my name is Kathleen, and I am a family support worker on the Early Childhood Development Spoke of our Families First Resource Network. I first met our family when they attended play programs at Families First. They were referred into our Parent Child Mother Goose program also. They were offered ages and stages questionnaires to see if their son was meeting his developmental milestones. After the ASQs were completed, we brainstormed as to how we could best support this family. We offered home visitation and an invitation to the Robin Hood program. Upon reflection, it was amazing how we were able to offer so many different supports to this family under one roof. Hi everyone, I'm Lisa and I'm a home visitor at Families First. I provide in-home support to families with children ages zero to six. I have the privilege to work with this wonderful family in their home on a weekly basis. I have been able to see a family who has been faced with life's challenges and how they have been resilient, consistent, kind, and committed to doing their absolute best for their young children, from appointments to home visits to play groups and assessments. I have seen their children grow and thrive because of the willingness of this family to access supports at Families First and draw upon their own strengths as a very special family. Hello, Kim here, and I am Program Manager at Families First. Connection to others is so important to our own human experience and what we do here at Families First. These connections and relationships that happen because of connecting or would keep this agency alive. I'm going to share a bit about our community adult learning programs and the relationships that support these programs. Both Community Kitchens and Parent Child Mother Goose program happen in our community spaces that are shared with us by other community partners. This is a relationship that we are so grateful for and celebrate. But these AGM questions help you to think and reflect. And we realized that with building a Better You program, we'd been having a huge struggle to find a facilitator. What happened was one of our mental health support students heard about this struggle and they shared that they might be interested. This led us to not only getting a facilitator, but was able to translate all our learnings with this program into PowerPoint that can be used moving forward. Connections are important, but sharing and being honest about your needs with others is also important. We are grateful to live in a village where we not only feel connected, but know that we have relationships to share the good stuff and the challenges. Hi, I'm Jody Cook, a registered social worker and psychotherapist 
working with clients at Families First. The partnership between Families First and the Mental Health Counseling Program is an important and integral factor in assisting individuals and families to take agency over their lives and their futures. Therapy offers clients the opportunity to gain insight and self-awareness and facil facilitates the possibility to heal from their trauma, including complex developmental attachment, intergenerational trauma. The process allows clients to bring awareness to and shift away from unconscious trauma response patterns that are often based on distress and tolerance, and to move towards developing new and healthier responses and options to both identify and support the needs of themselves and their families. Working with both the clients and the staff at Families First is a true honor and a privilege for me. Well, I was given the library to reorganize and that was a fairly big task. Took me a few months of coming once a week for an hour and a half to two hours. And it was fun. I managed to get it somewhat into shape. And now I'm just sorting things into more specific areas. Like uh, uh, we have all these board books that I just put into board books. And now I'm going to sort them more into categories. So that's what I'm doing now. And this is a really cute little book that I just found. It's going to go in the animal stories section. Mm -hmm. So she made a nest and made it bigger and bigger until she welcomed her family. <laughs> Which is a really cute book. My experience with Families First has been unique. I felt very welcomed and I made felt useful, which was great because what I did seemed to uh, garner a lot of um, positive uh, applause. I don't know <laughs> what's the word I'm looking for. Uh, it was much appreciated, I think, when people came into the library and found it in good shape instead of in uh, kind of a mess. <laughs> <laughs> and I've managed to keep it in fairly good shape ever since. So that's been very rewarding. Mm -hmm.